when you track a case from beginning, during, and after, and you have photographs of beginning, during, and after, you now have what's called in engineering a feedback loop. A feedback loop is the only way for you to get better. In other words, when you do a case, if, if you did a case and you delivered a, a solution like an implant-supported crown in the aesthetic zone and it looked good day one and you never saw the patient again, you would never be able to improve. If it went south afterwards, you would never know. Let's say they moved away and you never followed up with them. You would never know how you're doing. This is one of the main problems you'll hear from your specialist. Your specialist would love for you to share your after photos with them. Because let's say they place an implant, they're super excited about it. They go, I think I got this implant in the perfect position. And then you restore it and they never see the outcome. What an awful way to live your life. <laughs> it's, it's like, hey, somebody just put a cake in the oven. You can smell it cooking, but you never get to taste it. It's awful, right? You've got to be able to have the feedback. You've got to be able to taste the cake and say, boy, it smelled good, but boy, it tasted good too. And then afterwards, did it give you a tummy ache? No. Okay, great. That was a great cake, right? So the feedback loop is really important. How do we do it in dentistry? Well, it doesn't matter whether you're doing implants or whether you're doing cosmetics or you're doing ortho. It doesn't matter. Photography, photography, photography. And so what you do is you take a before photo. You take a during photo, you take an after photo, and then you take follow-up photos over years. This is how you're going to get better at every single aspect of dentistry.